Hello YouTube friends, here we are Sunday again and I just thought I'd pop here and give you a bit of an update on this uh, quilt uh, behind me that I'm making for Agnes, my daughter, my granddaughter. Uh, it's for, she's one now and when she comes to visit me and stay overnight when she's a few years uh, older, uh, she's going to have her own quilt. So I've talked about it before, it goes, there it is, it's that big and I'm building it this way. Now, some of you may know about this idea of the golden ratio, which is um, a, a beautiful measurement of uh, which is very pleasing to the eye. So uh, I'll do I'll put a little link to the golden ratio uh, in the description below, because it's a mathematical thing that uh, is um, it's just like it's right. It makes it's the right proportions for something. So <laughs> with this, then. This is the width of it here. So I'm going to uh, calculate the length of it based on the golden ratio. Now, it's sewn together up to there. That's the last uh, sewn together edge. And it, I, I attached that bit. That bit was loose. I think if you're following along with this, you'll know that I've done so much. And now I, I'm building on it. These, these are loose here. Little hexagons are going on my design board. In this way here. Uh, I did have them on this uh, detachable, uh, you know, portable <laughs> uh, little board that I made here, but I was finding that that was really, um, it was too complicated. So I'm going to design it all on here now. So I've done up to here and I'm sort of trying to keep the washes of colour. You can see it so much better through the camera, in fact. So you can see that this area down here there's not as much green coming through. So I'm going to build some green coming up here. It's been loads of fun to make. I'm really, really enjoying it. And in here are the, um, this is my, a few of my paper templates that I cut with my Sizzix machine. And here are the little base pieces that I make um, at, when, at night when I'm watching a bit of TV. Now I was running out of colours that were fixed, matching in with all of this from my stash. And so I bought a couple of packs of these charm packs, Free Spirit, they're K for set charm packs. And this one's the greens. And I also, and so it's beautiful greens like this. So the, the, the genius thing about this is, I mean, how many pieces do you get in here? I haven't got my glasses. Oh, my glasses here. So you get however many pieces. I don't want to tell me enough, but they're all different. They're all, they all have uh, the same fantastic green going through them, but they're all a little bit different. And the best thing about these charm squares, I can get four hexagons. So the way that I do it is I get my little charm square. You've got to be pretty careful to cut it really accurately. I get this and fold it uh, in half and in half again. So it's like that. And then really really carefully cut it so that you're not skimping on anything and then one of my paper templates it just fits it's a it could be a stretch if you cut them wrong but I can get four uh, hexagons uh, out of one of these charm squares and so I think to get a load of variety in there uh, it's been great to get these uh, a couple of little uh, packs of five inch squares. I had hoped to do all of this from scrap and from, you know, stash that I've already got, but that's not going to be possible, not with the size I want to make it. So I've got another one here, which is sort of blues and purples, which is again comes into here nicely. I was surprised when I looked at it, just how much of this sort of purpley there is in there and a lot of green too. So I'm loving making this. I really am loving making it. Uh, as I say, I've got this, um, box here that's full of uh, templates. It's a bit like painting. I'm no painter, never never painted uh, at all, but uh, this is a bit like painting with fabric uh, the way that it's uh, the way that it's working. And so here then uh, I'm choosing from these um, pinned pieces as well and then all the ones that I've got in here. I love it. And as I say it doesn't have to um, be done in a hurry. There's no there's no rush for this one. So that's how it's looking now. And I just like it as a background as well. <laughs> I'm going to think carefully about how to do the edges 
uh, it'll have a border on it, I think, and uh, something lovely for the backing. I found some fabric recently for a quilt that I'm making, the last customer's quilt of the year, uh, and I bought the backing fabric for that, but there wasn't quite enough, Alison. <laughs> and so I've had to order some more, so that's what the delay is there. But it's um, sitting right there, waiting for me to get on and stitch it. I'm really looking forward to it. Really looking forward to putting some good movies on and doing some stitching. So the... Um, the stitching is going to start happening as soon as that order arrives, which uh, I've just had an email from them. It'll be in the next couple of days. So that's good because it's Sunday today. So it might be Monday or Tuesday. So what else is happening today on Sunday is that um, for those of you who are on the shop mailing list, which you join the mailing list by going to the home page of the website. Descriptions always below here. And it's a simple question of signing up. I think I think you. When you sign up, you get asked to confirm that it is that you are who you say you are. And all you've got to do is press that confirm button. You don't have to send another email or anything. It's quite simple. And uh, Rita sends out an email to people who are on the mailing list telling them about the next shop update. And so so if you're on the mailing list, you'll have got that email. Uh, she sent it out yesterday. And, and so that's an email telling you about the calendars, the uh, Christmas cards, and the candles, everything beginning with C. So these are candles that Ted made um, for me. You know, the seasonal candles that I get. This is the box of seasonal candles. And these ones are all in Christmassy colours. Uh, let's open these up and have a look. So they're all in these lovely reds, greens, ivories, whites, uh, all ready to be, um, you know, a bit sort of Christmassy and seasonal. So they're in the shop just now. This will be the last box of... Um, seasonal candles that I do from Ted because next year I'm not going to tell you but we've got a different project happening with Ted and his candles for next year so I'm thrilled about that uh, so the calendars then I've got those from the printers now here they are uh, now I've got last year's as well this is last year's and we're on November now but if I go back to the front of this one so what I like to do for the front cover is my big collage and although they look the same they're completely different pictures every single one of them that was fun to make I enjoyed doing that and then I do my little quote on the back page and last year's quote they're always from Tolkien the last three years uh, I've always found a quote that I think works well and last year's it says this well oh, do you want to see what it says Norma you coming up is that too big a leap for you Yes, she says it is. That's too big a leap for me. <laughs> right, Norma, I think you need to move. No bottoms in the camera, please. <laughs> Norma wants to hear the quote on the back of the cam uh, calendar. Settle down. Settle oh, you're going to go to sleep in my box of hexagons. I found her asleep in there yesterday. Never work with children and animals. Come on, get out of the way, Norma. <laughs> Come on, come on. Let's see if that works. It usually works. The quote then in last year's calendar was, there is value and meaning in living your life and tending your own little square of earth. It is no bad thing to celebrate a simple life. So that was last year's and this year I'm not going to read it to you it'd be a nice surprise for the people who get it but this is another Tolkien quote and I think it's quite appropriate for the year we've just had so if people have bought things from the shop before you'll know that I, I pop in a little piece of chocolate fair trade chocolate but lately what I've been doing is and these say it's chocolates but they're not chocolates inside here these are the um, the the offcuts of the end of the candy cane soap that Kerry made for the Christmas boxes, and she she very kindly packed them all up in these little sample bags. So there's a little piece of soap in there, and all Kerry's details on the back. And I've got, I've got that many. And so what I'm doing with cards or books or um, the candles too, 
I'll pop one of these in until they're all gone. Not with the calendars, because the calendars are in a flat envelope. And so, uh, but for anybody else, uh, I'll be popping one of those in. With the calendars, I'll pop something else in <laughs> that's flat. Uh, OK, so those were lovely of Kerry to do that. And that's it. Once they're gone, they're gone. And we'll be back to uh, something else. So the calendars are there then. Um, limited run of those. Cards, candles, they're all there. Uh, and that'll be the last drop update for 2021. Tw what? <laughs> That'll be the last shop update for 2020. For everyone who bought a box, a Christmas box, thank you. I'm starting to see some of the little unboxing videos that people are putting over on Instagram and uh, uh, someone on, on YouTube as well. I'm loving them. Uh, I really am enjoying them as much as you seem to be. Uh, it's, it's lovely to see them. And the people who've got the messages from John, uh, the first thing people say when they talk about receiving their box is, I didn't get a message from John. <laughs> um, and uh, But the ones who did, I'm hearing from them as well. I'm thrilled. Very, very pleased. The person who got the first box that John did with the little extra candles in. Oh, they were candles. They were birthday cake candles. Uh, she she got those. That was nice. And John was here earlier on and he was saying, have people been getting the boxes, Mum? So I showed him a couple of the pictures on Instagram and he was really pleased, really pleased. So that's all good. That's all really, really good. So this morning then I went down to see to the hens and um, the hens are in this sort of muddy run, with, you know, not a blade of grass in there because they've, they've pecked it all clean. And there's nothing much going on in my garden now. So I opened the gate and thought I can just all come out into the garden now for the rest of the winter. And Eileen's out there now. Uh, um, parading around, flapping her wings and eating all the grass. It's fine. There's enough room for them all just to free range in the garden and they're much happier. So I've I've done that now. I mean, I'll still go and feed them every day, of course, but uh, they'll be happier to get some grubs and bugs and greenery from, uh, from my winter garden. This is pretty wintry now. Anyway, <laughs> that then is uh, what I wanted to talk about. This... Uh, the next series of videos coming up, Anna was here yesterday and we had a big planning meeting. In fact, we both ended up with a bit of a planning headache at the end of it. But we've got some thoughts coming for what we want to do for Advent this year. And um, it won't be a daily video like it was last year. It won't be that. But we have got some really interesting ideas that I hope. And just like she made the makers videos for you, she's going to make the series of Advent videos. So I think the first one will be next Saturday. No, it won't. It'll be next Sunday. So the first the first one will be next Sunday. That'd be good. I hope. So tonight over on Patreon, it's the live stream. I'm getting ready for that. Uh, and so that's at, um, what time is it? Eight o'clock Greenwich Mean Time? Something like that. Yeah, eight o'clock Greenwich Mean Time is the live stream over on the Patreon channel. And you're most welcome to come and join us for that. Uh, the questions are being, I'll check the questions a bit later on so that I get everyone's questions. I really enjoy it. It's good fun. And so for now then, I'll leave you with some hens in the garden pecking around, enjoying the greenery. And I'll leave you with um, a tease of Advent videos to come. It's not Advent quite yet, uh, but um, I think you'll enjoy them. Anna and I have done quite a lot of thoughts, thoughtful planning about them. She's great. She really is. She's been brilliant helping me do these videos. So that's... Um, that's all for today. Pop over to the shop if you want to have a look at uh, the new uh, things that are in there. Just the calendars, the cards and the candles. I like saying that, all those C's. Pop over to Patreon if you want to check out what we're doing tonight on the live stream. It's just five dollars if people want to join for that. And I appreciate people if you don't want to. But I've explained before that it's actually help, more helpful for me, better for me to do that live stream to a smaller group of people. It makes better sense. So for now, then, on a sort of a sort of wet sort of November -y afternoon, I might actually sew a few more little hexagons from my charm square squares. There's some really lovely ones in here. There's some that won't suit. There's some that just are the wrong kind of thing altogether, but not many. They're mostly really 
really, really great. I mean, that's not, I kind of would. So I'm, I'm going through them and selecting the ones that I want to use. And then I'll measure this and find out what my golden ratio measurement should be. So I'll know how long I have to make it in this direction. But I'm loving making it. I really am. So take care, everybody. Thank you, all of you. Uh, if you've enjoyed what you've seen here, then you should subscribe and click the notifications bell so you don't miss a single video. As I say, people who are on Patreon, lots over on there. Uh, you know, two years worth of videos if people wanted to take advantage of that. Um, what else? Thumbs up, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, like, share, all the things that Arne and Carlos always remind you to do at the end of every video in the formalities, and I always forget to do. But you're great, everybody, and I'll catch up with you next Sunday with the first video in the Advent series. Take care, everybody. Bye now. <laughs>